Hey, what's happening? I'm sitting here in the back seat of my Toyota Tundra, and I just got done doing a project in this truck, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. What we did today was to convert the 12 volt cigarette lighter style outlet that is back here on the back of the center console into this USB outlet with built-in USB ports. So I have two regular USB ports as well as a type C and a, uh, it has a little built-in voltage gauge on it as well. It's not super hard to install, does take a little bit of work, but I'm gonna walk you through the steps on how to get that done. So let's get to it right now. I'm gonna go ahead and open the lid a little, just so I can get my hands, I wanna get my fingers kind of around the front of this, this piece. I'm gonna pull backwards, kind of backwards, and it should just snap out. There, and it's starting to come loose. So I'm getting this side first. There it goes. And I'm just gonna pull that back and then do the same thing on the left side. And bam. So hopefully you can see here, you've got some tabs here, here that go into those slots when you put it back, uh, as well as a tab up here that locks in right there. But it's nice because this whole thing just pulls right off and now we have access to the wires so that we can go ahead and start working on replacing that uh, old cigarette lighter outlet. Okay, I'm gonna start by unplugging this. Just pull that off. Okay. And then I've got uh, like a zip tie here and a zip tie here. There we go. Okay. Those are both loose. And now I have the end of this that I can uh, replace to connect up to the new one. Okay. Get these out. Which is pretty easy. And you just push through from the back with your fingers and it pops right out. That's going to be a lot easier to work on. So we need to get this silver part out. And to do that, there's, there's two little plastic tabs. There's one on the bottom, and there's another one, hopefully you can see it on the top. And what I need to do is push out on both of those with a little small screwdriver. So let's give that a shot. I'm gonna push from the backside as I do this. And there it went. It definitely doesn't fit, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and drill this out to a little bit larger diameter to accommodate for this new device. All right, that only took a couple minutes with the file. Now that it's good, so. I just need to make sure I have that in the upright position and be ready to uh, mount the back on. There we go. And we're just going to tighten that all down and then we'll straighten it. Okay, so that looks mostly upright right there. Looks pretty straight. Make sure it's nice and Let's see if I get there. I got one last little tiny turn, so yeah, it's in there nice and tight now. I'm gonna cut this connector off and use these two connectors that came with the kit. Uh, now, you want to make sure you get positive and negative correctly, and if we look at the original outlet, I can tell you that the fatter of the two connectors is the ground or the negative. So the skinny one is your positive. And that's uh, similar on here as well. This one has a fatter connector and a skinnier connector and the fatter one has the minus. So the fatter one is the ground. So we just want to keep that in mind when we're doing this. When you go to do this, there's you'll notice there's three holes on here. There's a little guide kind of pin there. You want to start by lining 
that guide pin in the center hole and pushing those those three in first and then the bottom is going to kind of snap in it gets well, there it goes it snapped in so there's two little tabs on the bottom that kind of snap in place and now we can install the three screws which are all the same screw I just want to make sure I do my connectors right so the red is going to go to the skinnier one to the positive side the other one to the neutral or to the ground I should say not neutral and okay those are in so and you know what this doesn't even really go back in there I'm just going to leave this loose as long as it's not in the way of my vents which it won't be uh, it should be good to go so let's start putting that all back together now that putting it back uh, you just you have to make sure you line up all these little tabs like you can see those tabs down in the bottom and then we get to these middle ones uh, you got to line those up it's a little bit tricky uh, so this part is honestly probably one of the hardest parts in the whole job but if you get them lined up good then it's gonna kind of go back not in per se but kind of down at an angle like that and if you get them all lined up it goes back together perfectly all right everything's installed with the chuck running you can see we're getting 14.2 volts and uh, we're going to test these usb ports uh, the regular usb ports first mostly i'm curious about the amount of amps that this thing is going to put out and so i'm going to plug in an ipad i can tell you that in our Sienna van, the built-in ports will not charge an iPad. So we're gonna plug in, and boom, we're getting uh, we're getting juice. So that's awesome. Let's take a look at the other and see how the Type C connector works. So I'm gonna unplug that one, and we're gonna plug in the Type C connector. And same thing, uh, I'm getting getting charge off that. So this uh, this thing has enough amps to charge an iPad. I can't say it'll charge an iPad super fast, uh, but you can charge an iPad off of this, which I think is actually pretty impressive. So pretty happy with that. Um, also, if you don't want the volts to show, you can do that, I'm pretty sure. Oh, now that actually powers it off, so if you want to charge you do have to turn turn it on so okay that's good to know but anyway this is going to work great for when we're uh, going on a little longer trip and the kids are in the back with, uh, with their devices that they they now have easy built-in charging anyway hopefully that's helpful thanks so much for watching and have a great day